Hi everyone, my name is Angium, and welcome to a Dark Souls Best Start Tutorial. So, you've probably seen a ton of different tutorials on how to get the best start in Dark Souls. But, this is my first video, as you might be able to see if you've been to my channel before. But, from all those show... Like, I've done most of those, and most of them are hard for pe for even people like me. And I've beaten the game before. Twice, actually. And I don't want to make a best start video when the best start shouldn't require you to have beaten the game before and know how to do professional runs. So I'm just going to show, this is a very, very simple way. To get the best, one of the best starts. It's not the best, because I'm not going to show you some, like, super advanced runs or anything. I'm just going to show you just, like, a basic run. Well, they're not even runs. Just some few shortcuts. Now, the first thing that I kind of screwed up on is that I forgot to told you tell you, when choosing your class, if you choose any other class but the Thief class, which is what I am, you will have to choose the master key as your item. So, as I slowly open these doors, um, this is the Asylum View Invite. I chose Black Fire Bombs as my gift, so I can do this and get this item. Because if you did not know, if you killed the Asylum Demon this way, you get a certain, you get a special item, which, in this video, I will not be showing you how to use. But if you were a strength build. But if you chose this character to start, then you could take this. And this was just like a quick little help on how to get this item before new game. Just a cool little thing that most people don't know that you can do before new game. And that's how you get 2,000. So, something that most people won't get with this run is that... Usually you spend your souls, but this run that I'm going to show you is very forgiving, okay? Unlike most of the game, where if you die, you're dead. In this run, if you die, it's not that hard to get your souls back. You basically don't need to fight anything. And the enemies that you do need to fight, you can push off the edge. So... It's really, really forgiving, and the only problem is, is that some classes don't start with 10 strength like this one. That's why I chose this class. I want to show you that if you chose a class that doesn't start with 10 strength, there's a lot of different classes like this, then you just need to level up once to get 10 strength. Because there's an item that I'm going to get, and you need this item to be able to do... You don't need it, but it's super useful. And for me, I use it, so I am going to spend the extra points. And just to save time, I am going to show you a quick little trick. And you will be able to see all of my magnificent characters that I have um, when I do this. Because I will have to go through them to get to this character. So if you did not know, you can roll over, you can come over here. You don't need to roll, I just like to roll. And there's this nest. So, if you didn't know, this nest is actually a merchant. Um, if you drop an item in its nest, it will give you an item back. But it only does this if you rest at a bonfire or reload the game. So, you need to drop it, not use it. That would have been bad. So, then you just exit the game and then reload back into your character. So, if this video gets... Uh, let's start small. Uh, two likes. I will continue this character on through an entire playthrough of the game. Two likes. Literally, if you're watching this video, you have, you can do half of the power. You have half of the power in your hands. To make me spend 50 hours on a full playthrough of this game. So, something that you need to do is you need to kill this guy. Okay, 
Just hurt him until he starts attacking you. And then follow this little route. Again, very forgiving. So, even if you get hit, you can survive all of his hits. So then come up here and just shield. You should attack. And then kick. If you don't know how to kick, it's RB, right bumper. And forward, I do not know how to do it on the keyboard. This is not a console, by the way. I am doing it on the computer. Yes. But I have a controller connected to my computer, which most people do when they are playing this game. And I'm actually going to unequip my shield because I do not need it. Literally, this run is that this easy. So, there is a run that I can show you which makes you get a death, which I do not like doing. I'm going to show this deathless if possible. Now, I may screw up and die, but there's no, like, in, like, most other runs that you'll see. They'll tell you, like, oh, you need to run here and you need to hold at your shield this entire time. And if you don't choose this very specific class, then you can't do this. And you need to put this many points into here and all this other junk. So, the reason I'm making this video is because I haven't found any good thing, good runs that accumulate for all the classes. Most of them are just for decks. Now, granted, I probably should have started as, like, some other character besides a dex character, but... I just wanted to make this video go by faster, just because I get that most people don't want to watch a 30 minute long best early start video, so I'm trying to make this as short as possible. But, as you can see, I'm accumulating quite a hefty sum of souls here, and really all that has to happen now is, so... Blah, 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 blah. Sorry about that. I just could not think of words to say. Um, I'm not used to commenting in my games. Sorry if I'm not the best. Um, basically what's happening right now is this is a very, very high level area. And I did jump there, which I said you probably wouldn't have to do. Or did I not say that? Um, but you don't have to jump there. You really can just run. And these guys are quite slow. And they're really dumb. Like, I could stand here for a minute and not die. Hey, look. And just run away. So, once you get to this part of the run, as you... I stood there for a second so you could see where it is. And you can just step on this plate. And then it will bring you up to... If you have played the game before, you will know where this area is. Well, you should at least. This is the Dark Root Garden, Okay. So the dark root garden is the is the area it's it's a side area it's not a mandatory area you should rest at the this bonfire um it's not a mandatory area but it's a area after the gargoyles well be, like m amidst with the gargoyles it's like an offshoot down by the blacksmith if you know where that is if you have not played this game and this is literally your first start of the game well, then you've got no idea where I'm talking about, and good job. Um, now, I would suggest running down and grabbing this item. This is the hardest part of the run right here. Just run past this guy. Come back in the cave. There was an invisible wall right there that he cannot come past. So, just equip the shield. That's why I increased my strength to 10, is because the requirements are 10 strength. So, now all you have to do is this is the hardest part of the run. Okay? You have to come out here and push this guy off the edge. So, now you cannot kick this guy like the last guy, but there isn't a very advanced technique that you can use. It's called reposting. Now, I'm not going to do any reposting in, the, in this killing of him, just because this is supposed to be a simple run. But, as you can see, I just got my backstab off, and you should push them quite far, and he just died. There we go. So, if you're lucky, you may get other weapon. You may get his weapon or his shield. I was not lucky. I did not get either of those. Unfortunately. So, as they're coming up here. Come up here. Do not go over there. That has a Hydra, which is a mini boss. There's also an N a not an NPC, but an, um, an enemy. His name is Havel. When, if you kill him, he drops Havel's ring. At this level, Havel will one-shot us. As you saw, I just got a bow, so 
Oh, I am medium rolling. So if you didn't know, there's different types of rolls depending on your weight class. I just showed you how to get a semi-light set of armor. So if you chose like a heavier class of armor, it's up to you. You can grab that armor. You might not need it. I got this shield. Some classes don't need a better shield. But it's because um, the next enemy that, that you can't cheese, like I've shown you how to cheese the past enemies by pushing them off a cliff. This next enemy, these next few enemies, you really can't cheese, so, and they deal lots of magic damage. So, this shield has a 42% 42 magic resist. It's not actually 42%, it's just 42. I'm pretty sure it's percent, but I'm just going to say 42 because I do not know if that's specific. So, this area right here is another area where you can cheese most of the areas. This is the Dark Root Garden, which I was saying, it just decided not to show where we were until here. Just push that guy off the edge, then his buddy will come up from over here. You are in trouble if his buddy comes before you can push the other guy off the edge. Now, if you chose most, I think almost all classes have a weapon that can hit these guys before they can attack. And these guys, they do deal quite a bit of damage. But the but their damage, they've got zero poison. If you don't know what poison is, it's kind of complicated. And I'm not going to explain it right now. Um, but they, so basically what it is, is you need to deal a certain amount of damage. Now, anyone that actually has like looked into what poison is and all that stuff um, is going to get very angry right here. But this is just going to be a brief explanation of what it is. It is a certain amount of damage that you need to take until you get staggered. So if you look... Every time that I hit this guy, he stops doing his attack. That's staggering, okay? If I was, let's say, drinking an SS flask or cracking humanity and I took some damage, it all depends on your poise on if you stop the animation or not. So, obviously, you want poise, and that's good and all, but the problem is that the armor that I have, you can see in the top right, it says that the thief mask gives me zero poise, and so does all of this armor. It's only certain, like, most strength armors will give you poise, okay? Just take it for that. I get, an, again, I probably just angered all of the Dark Souls professionals out there. Again, this run probably angers all Dark Souls professionals out there. Okay, so when you get to this bonfire, you want to crack or use a humanity. Now you see in the top left hand corner, you will see that zero become a zero, those zero zeros become a zero one. Okay, now you want to reverse your hollowing. Okay, this is really important because if you don't do this, then this next part, you basically die. Like there's no, you have to be really, really good and have to have a lot of patience to be able to do it. Okay, so this next part, don't get worried about this fog wall, it's not a boss. Hey, look, it's not a boss. The next fog wall that we go through is a boss, though. So, just because this is the best start video, I am going to show you how to get another weapon. Hey, look, an enemy just popped up. Now, this is completely optional. You do not need to do this to do the run. The main part of the run, this is just a cool little... I think it's strength and dex, so a quality build weapon. But, um... This build isn't, like, specifically for PvE ears, player versus environment, which is offline, or PvP ears, who are people that fight online. Just take this. You're going to get hit by that guy. Just move out of the way after he hits you. If that bar fills up on the bottom, uh, you're going to take some poison damage for a while, but it's fine. Um, so, this is where one very important branch. You want to come on the right of it, and then just walk over here. You'll see this guy start to get up. Just kind of walk past him, okay? Come over to this bush over here and smack it. Now, if you reversed your hollowing, there should be this summon sign right here. Even if you're offline, it's not a real person. I promise you. Um, so now you, you can see this, this stone guy that would kill us. Well, unless you're really good at rolling. Um, would kill us, but... Or it would kill, probably kill her too. But if you were smart and you did what I said, then this lady will just kill him for you. Now again, if you're lucky, he can drop his sword and his shield. 
He will not drop his armor set, but I will show you how to get his armor set. Okay. So, usually uh, most people know that have played this game before. If this is your first time playing, you will not know this. Most summon signs will be located near a boss door. When you're human, they only appear. Okay. Okay, you enter this room. Oh no, a boss fight. Okay. If you have the summon, which is this lady right here, Witch Beatrice, then this boss fight is a complete joke. Now, if you have wondered why I've told you not to spend your souls yet, and if you have spent your souls in this run so far, I would... Then you can't complete the run. You need to have all the souls um, to be able to complete the run, okay? As you can see, she is completely decimating the boss's health bar, and we have a d un nothing. Okay? That's the only attack that you really need to be worried about. So, I'll show you how to d dodge all of these attacks. This one, just walk away in one direction. The only one that will really hurt you is the big fog mist one. And for that one, so this is so this is the only time that melee attackers can damage the boss, which really, really annoys me. So, I'm sorry that this is taking forever. <sighs> Boom. Um, I might as well just load up some of these. If I die right now, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, no. Witch got her. Um, no, oh, come on, Witch Beatrice. So, the only attack that you really have to be worried about is that one right there. Which, I don't know its actual name. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oop, got out of the way. Um, and it's kind of like this green fog. But it looks like, it looks like the other ones when, uh, the butterfly is going to shoot it. That's a really rare attack. Hey, look, which killed her before she could do it. Okay, so, I have played as an intelligence build. Still crack this soul, it doesn't matter. I've played an intelligence build, all it is, if you didn't know, you could turn boss souls into weapons. Okay, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, your souls, if you did not know, are your currency and your XP. Okay, so now you can see that I am over twenty. Uh, I'm over twenty thousand. I think it's twenty thousand. Yeah, not even gonna count. Um, so if you're an advanced player and you've already been through the game, you kind of know what main big item that can be sold by a merchant in this area for twenty thousand items. For uh, not items, souls that can be used by all of the classes. Well, okay. Now what you want to do is you want to equip this ring. So now you do need the ring and this bone, homeward bone. And then equip this ring that I got you from the very beginning. And just fall off here. Okay. You will die, but it will say ring retrieval if you equip the ring correctly. And now this will save a lot of time. Just trust me. Okay. Look what happens. Okay. You're back here. You're still human. You're in good shape. Everything's fine. Got it? Okay. So now, if you do not like me and you don't want to follow the guide of the run and you don't want to get... A lot more souls then um, don't do what I say just spend the souls and continue on with the game I get it you're fine go on with your life you're fine you have your own you can do whatever you want I'm not gonna stop you I actually can't stop you so well I might be able to if I did some like supreme ha hacking but I won't do that because I'm not going to hack anyone or even know how to hack um but what you're seeing now is you can kill these enemies again, but just for the sake of time, I'm just running past them because I know how to run past these enemies. They're really not that hard. So, something that's going to confuse a lot of players is I'm going to kill myself in a second. Now, not in real life. Don't ever do that. Ever. You, really, don't. It's bad. Um, but, the only, but the only time that you should ever really kill yourself is, wh is when you need to go hollow. So if you see how I'm human, like this, like, you can see I'm human, um, then you really shouldn't ever, like, kill yourself. So, you can talk to this guy, he'll talk to you. You can learn his gesture if you want. The main thing you need to do is go into his items and purchase this item right here. Okay? He'll yell at you, don't get yourself killed, or he'll yell, oi, where are you off to, if you walk away from him. You need to buy this item right here. Okay, Crest of Atorius. Okay, what that lets you do is open a door. Okay, really cool. Now what you need to do is walk in here. 
and then run up to this guy and just stand there. And let him kill you. Okay? So, the reason I'm telling you to do this is because you go back to the same spot that you were, that you did when you used the ring. But this time, you'll look different. You'll be in hollow form. And, but you'll still have this item, okay? So, now what you want to do is you want to open this door, which you now have the key for, which is that crest. Okay. 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 So when you come in here, um, you'll have all of these guys chasing you. Now this part is kind of scary. Just run. Just run over here. And then run back, okay? So, this is where the real cheese, like, full-on cheddar cheese comes in. Okay? So, you run all the way over there, and then you run back over here. So, this is the more dangerous way, but you can just walk up the staircase, and then just step down here. Oh, that guy followed me. Eh. So, then you just stand right here in this corner. You can drink that as flask if you get hit by that one mage's magic. Mage's magic, yeah. If not, just do what I'm... Oh. Dang it, I missed it. So what's supposed to happen is these guys are supposed to fall off the edge, but as you saw, I stepped away from where I was supposed to be, and now these guys aren't falling off the edge. Now this is not... Yes, I get it, I screwed up. My fault, I died. Look, I paid my price. If you don't stand in that spot, these guys will actually come down and fight you. These are high-level enemies. They do a lot of damage. They have really derpy faces. We get this. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to come over here and do it again and then not die like I just did. Okay? So, this guy right here, this big old heavy knight, he only, once you kill him, he doesn't come back. Okay? Ow. Whoop. Okay? Once you kill him, he doesn't come back. Okay? Easiest guy. Okay? So, I will show you since... So the way that I did it right there is the more advanced way, and it works better, but it may have them glitch out sometimes. Otherwise, you can just do this. And then just stand here, drink an acid if you get hit. I am not very good at, at dodging the magic, but as you saw, that guy just rolled off the edge. And, oop. I should be raking in a lot of souls right now. Yes, yes, I am. As you can see, three more guys. Two, three. Oop, oh no. Okay, that's another one off. So, sometimes they'll just stand here. All you gotta do is just stand here with your shield out. And sometimes just kick them. Which is RB and 4 at the same time, if you were wondering. Okay, so now, I've got a lot of souls. That was half what we spent on the key. Now, the cool thing with this run now, is that all of these guys, except for that one knight in the big clunky armor, respawn okay so now the only way to screw up this run is by talking to this cat and entering her covenant okay don't do that just just just, just don't okay so i'm gonna show you a really great strength armor that most people don't know about okay if you just come back here there's a chest you can kind of see it from the bridge if you're looking for it in here there is a stone set yay okay you may remember this from the enemies that we killed earlier. Um, it's really, really heavy, but it does give you that stat that I was talking about. Poise. It gives fifth. The helmet gives fifteen of it. Um, quickly, I'm going to show you a certain item for mages. If you do this run as a mage, um, int not faith. So there's three different types of magic. You'll learn it when you decide to go, if you decide to go one of them, okay? So just, kind of just walk away as these big old mushrooms follow, okay? If they hit you, they really, really hurt, just know that. Now just open up this chest, I promise it will not kill you. Grab this stuff and grab the ember inside. Now you can give that to a blacksmith and he makes your weapons magical. And then they do cool magic stuff. Now if you're a strength, dex, faith whatever whatever else you decide to play as then that ember really doesn't do anything for you 
I just wanted to show you where it is because this is for all builds, not just one. That was the purpose of me making this video. Because if you were looking for dex builds, then you could go on there and look for the best dex build start. You could look for the best strength build start. But watching this video will save you the time of having to go and look through all of the other videos. So, now I'm going to get you a certain ring that actually really helps with a, with a more advanced technique called reposting. Okay, so here is the ring. You can equip it. Well, you should equip it. And now you can use this bone that I told you not to use earlier. Okay. Now you will come back to this bonfire. Now you can level up whatever you want. Since I said um, in the beginning, still the two light goal. Um, since this may become like a full playthrough character, I'm going to boost my vitality, which is a really good stat. I highly recommend boosting your vitality. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is what this ring does. So, it boosts damage and it also changes the animation for a certain thing. I'm actually going to unequip it first. Ow. Okay. So I'm going to show it to you with a repost. So as you see, when I do a repost, I do 150 damage. So if you go up that, do you see how there's like this little hill right here? If you go up that hill, then a Shadow Knight guy, he's not like the knight in big clunky armor, but he has like a dagger and it deals a lot of damage. Now as you can see, he does 8 and 191. It's a 40% increase and it also changes the animation. It makes your animations look really cool. And then the backstab, they roll really far. Now as you can tell, I still deal like no damage to these guys and it would take me a long time to kill them. So I'm just going to do the basic cheese that I usually do. So, this, that will conclude this video for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I won't actually ask for any of those, even though I just did. Because I see a lot of people doing that and it really doesn't want to make me do it. So, I'm going to say something different. If you liked this video, you know what? It's up to you. You may like it. You may dislike it. Up to you. You can dislike it if you want. You can like it if you want. You may just click off at the very beginning. But thank you. Thank you for watching. My name is Angium. And this was the best, well not the best, one of the best starts for any build. Thank you, and goodbye.